Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Sagittarius to your weekly tarot reading. There is some work going on at the neighbours next door. Uh, quite a lot of banging going on. I've set up a different table in a little corner of the house, hoping that it minimises the disruption. Uh, so there may well be something that you hear, but I think the microphone will hopefully block out quite a lot as well. So let's see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Sagittarians for the week ahead? We have making a difference. My inner light shines far and wide. You know, sometimes when that card comes out as well, we, we sometimes feel that we're putting energy and time into something and we don't feel like we're getting anywhere. Sometimes we need to be reminded by spirit also that, I don't know why that, that message is coming to me, but it is. It is worth it. You know, what you're putting time and energy into will make a difference or is making a difference. You might, you might not feel that you're getting somewhere. Let's continue. <laughs> I said it was getting that message. We have mending bridges. I heal rifts. I am a mender. Let's see what we have for you. Let's pull you an Archangel Michael card for the week. Message for Sagittarius. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for the week ahead. We've got, yes, yeah, stay the course. I feel that you're being told to keep at something here. It'll be worth it. But it, you, you might feel that you're getting nowhere, <laughs> is what I'm getting. Don't panic. You're not on the wrong path. You're just having a bumpy start. Learn from your experiences and keep going. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you for the week ahead message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for the week ahead. What does Sagittarius need to hear? Thank you. The Ace of Wands, it's fire energy. It's an exciting new beginning. Really connected to your heart and soul, something that you'd be enthusiastic about, passionate about. A new door. The Five of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles above this. Seven of Wands beneath this. Three of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands. Bottom two cards, additional information. We have the Emperor. And we have the Queen of Wands, which can be used as a but I did look at the bottom of the deck. It's a chariot. Queen of Wands can be Sagittarius as well. Or it could be dealing with a fire sign. We've got the, the Emperor here. It could be an Aries. Um... The chariot is Cancer, Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female, go-getting, driven, charismatic, natural leader. Doesn't really matter whether there's fear involved with the Queen of Wands, she's going to walk through that anyway and do what she feels is right. Uh, so this is what I see for you. It's a very empowering time though because it certainly looks like with the, with the, there's a victory here, there's a triumph. Again, an emperor can be a key decision maker, somebody who is in charge, somebody in authority. You could look at that as a judge. You could look at that as a, a, a CEO, MD, or again, somebody who is official who you might be waiting to hear from. The same energy applies with the emperor. He can represent, you know, the establishment um, in in authority of any kind, a key decision maker here, but there's victory attached to this person. 
So you're being told to stay the course because it's going to be worth it. Now, the, the Three of Pentacles can represent, sometimes represent compromise, negotiation. It can represent uh, teamwork, collaborations within that as well. Uh, working together in a cohesive manner. There's just something telling me here Sagittarius, that you could be negotiating here. For others of you, it might well be in your current circumstances, something might be a compromise too far. So let's see what we have. Uh, I think that you're standing up for yourself here with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is defending and protecting what you feel is right and true. Uh, it's that sense of, of, of bravery and courage to, to face whatever challenges you and overcome it through perseverance and determination. Let's see what we have. The Three of Pentacles. What do we have for Sagittarius in the immediate past? The chariot. We have judgment as well. It looks Sagittarius like there is a, a significant decision here. It's whether you stay on the path that you're on or whether you move in a new direction here. Because this feels like a compromise too far. Because there's a feeling here with the, the chariot of, of this is what I want. Eyes on the prize to victory, triumph and success. But again, that three of pentacles, it feels like there's a compromise too far. And there's a choice to make or decision in terms of whether you stay where you are or whether you do something about it. The judgment card can actually be a call to action. Sometimes to go for the thing that we want, you know, we have to be the change in some way. I mean, however this manifests for you here, Sagittarius, this mending bridges, making a difference and staying the course. It feels that sense of, of something is making you take action here and go for what you want. Again, the Knight of Pentacles, what's driving you, and again, even the Knight of Wands, these can be linked with opportunities, offers and opportunities, job, business opportunity, enterprise, career, abundance, exciting change. With the five of swords and the ace of wands i mean there's a little bit of, of i'll show you kind of energy with this the seven of wands standing for what you believe is right and true not backing down i think that if you're not going to get what you want in your current circumstances then i think that the way that you're overcoming the challenge is is, is moving elsewhere is what i'm getting here and I think it's to do with what you're being offered. It feels like an opportunity. I feel that you're wanting to make a difference. Now, here's the thing. The additional information that I'm getting with building bridges and mending fences, I mean, we've got mending bridges here. It could well be that whatever stage that you're at here, this links to a negotiation to try and keep you if you're already successful or you've already got an offer. Or if that's coming in, there may well be an attempt to try and keep you. And this is that sense, listen, don't act so hastily. 
Uh, can we find a way to make this work? Can we find a way to keep you rather than you leaving kind of energy? Because sometimes that five of swords can be about removing ourselves from a situation because we're not getting everything that we want. Uh, something isn't for us. It can be about conflict with others, not being on the same page, disagreements. So that's likely what's prompting you to take action. It's also a very powerful card in, of victory and triumph, the five of swords, certainly in terms of competitive energies too. I feel here, Sagittarius, you're persevering on a path to get a new opportunity, the Ace of Wands, with the main drive being, again, getting an offer. And the, the Seven of Wands is you're persevering on that path. Some of you might be competing for a new job this week. This is the current energy, but you feel that you're getting somewhere and you feel that seeing, seeing yourself as overcoming the issue challenge maybe in your current workplace because there is victory here, there is triumph, there is success, likely on a new path. The Knight of Wands cannot, can be linked with a departure. The Knight of Wands brings opportunities for change. It's fire energy. It feels like there's an opportunity with your name on it here. And it, this can sometimes feel like I am out of here, I am gone. <laughs> you know, we grab it and run away from and we leave everything behind us with this kind of energy. But we, we grab hold of something that fires us up, that we're passionate about, that we're driven about. The only advice that I will say with the Knight of Wands is sometimes it can be very hasty. Sometimes it can be very impulsive. So just be aware of that here, Sagittarius, that make the right decisions for you. Be very clear on what you want the end result to be. And the judgment card is there to tell you, choose wisely, because we live with our actions and choices. Sometimes we can just be a little bit too impulsive with that Knight of Wands, not always. There is victory for you here. And there's a person of influence who is bringing in a victory for you, giving you what you want the end result to be here, giving you what you want, pretty much. Even though it has been, <laughs> it's it's not been easy to get there. So this is either in a new job or it could well be agreeing to stay in your current circumstances, but your company has to give, your company has to shift and, and get to an agreed way forward that everyone is happy with and you're very clear in terms of what you want. And I, I don't think that you're going to settle for anything less than that. The message is stay the course, but I definitely feel that there is opportunity here and there's potential to, you know, to leave and get another opportunity elsewhere. But sometimes we can act impulsively. So make the right choices and decisions for you because there's karmic energy in this. There's also karmic energy for your company too. Because if they had just been a little bit more flexible in the first instance, then they won't be living with the consequences of potentially losing you. So the same energy would apply as well. I think somebody is likely going to be reaching out, wanting to find some kind of way to keep you. You're very clear in terms of what you want and likely what you'd be offered by this new job, for example, as well. And then you make the right choice for you in terms of whether you move on from a situation or whether you're happy with your current company now giving you what you want and deciding to stay. Choose wisely is the energy at play here. All right, let's pull you a message from the angels and ancestors. What do we have for our lovely Sagittarians? Thank you, angel spirits guides for the week ahead message for Sagittarius. Two cards. First one, we have Shaolin Master. Be graceful in movement and action. Let's read that out to you. Cards come out for a reason. I mean, these could, be, these could be messages to deal with this reading, but it could also be messages that you need to hear in other life areas too. We have slow and steady, breathe and flow, take a gentler approach. You are being guided to flow like water, blow, the, blow like air, 
and connect with your purest intentions. Don't feel you need to rush ahead. A gentler approach will be more fruitful and rewarding. Move with a subtlety and grace. Reach high, but also ask yourself how you can move with the flow of life rather than pushing against it. Do you have the capacity to refocus your gaze at this time? Can you slow down or take more time to soften and breathe as you move forward? All of this will be incredibly beneficial for what happens next. Perfect for the reading. Animal Guardian, let's see what we have here. Trust your instincts. Trust the powerful animal spirit within to learn more about yourself and your talents. You have a powerful animal within that can be wild, protective, instinctive and even calm. Animals don't second guess how they feel, they just express it. And you can learn from that. When this card arises, it's important to connect with how you really feel, how you want to feel and what you really need. Take the time to connect with your animal energy and express it naturally. Let it even, let even the fiercest energy move through you before returning to your natural state. It will teach you a lot about your gifts and how you can grow. Sagittarius, that's what I have for you for the week ahead. I hope you enjoyed your reading, maybe found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week ahead and I'll see you next time.